In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the two ways to set up a Samsung television set. Now today we're going to be using the Neo QLED, but this will work on the older models as well as the newer models. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. So we're going to keep it pretty simple. I have antenna plugged into the coax on the back of it. And I have a PS5 plugged into one of the HDMIs. The first method we're going to use is just a remote control that comes with the TV set because a lot of people think that you have to have a smartphone and that's not the case. Then the second way we're going to do it is through a smartphone using the SmartThings application. So for this part of the video, you will need your remote control. In this case, we have the QN85A and you will need a reliable Wi-Fi source. Now I don't recommend using a smartphone for data just because the television set consumes a lot of data and it's not that reliable to connect to a mobile device. Before you get started, you need to choose which method you're going to use to set up this television set. In this case, we're going to choose the remote control. Now it's a good idea to have your Wi-Fi password if you plan on using a wireless router. So let's go ahead and press on remote control. And you can see that the TV set automatically found the antenna that I plugged into it and the PlayStation. And in fact, it turned on the PlayStation so it can get ready for the next step. Then just press got it at the bottom of the screen. Now, if you don't have it plugged in through a ethernet connection, you need to connect the Wi-Fi. In this case, we're going to be using 2.5 gigahertz, but keep in mind it does support 2.4 gigahertz and 802.11. Now just go ahead and enter your password. Once the password is entered, go ahead and press done at the bottom. Now you can see there it connected to my Wi-Fi successfully and it'll take me over to the next step, which is the term and conditions. So it is ideal to read through all these terms and conditions, but I've set this up before. So we will just go ahead and agree to all and hit OK. Now the TV set is going to look for any type of updates if it's been sitting in the box for a while. As you can see, this particular television set did find an update. So I'm going to go ahead and press now and then we'll be back when it's done doing this update. So after the TV set downloaded the update, it rebooted and came through this screen. Now keep in mind, you can skip this at the very top of the screen. However, you will not be able to download applications unless you create a Samsung account. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Now, since I do have a Samsung account, I'll go ahead and sign into it. Now there's two ways you could do it. You can use your email or you can go to the website using a mobile device or PC. And this is what it looks like once you're done. I just need to press in sign in at the bottom. Now I do have it set up where you have to enter a code from my smart device. I'll go and enter that real quick. Some people may not like setting up their accounts like this, but I have all my accounts where you need my cell phone to log into the accounts for security. So uh, it could be a little bit of pain if you lose your phone, but it is necessary in today's world to have good security. Once you get that entered, go ahead and press verify. And I'll tell you guys, don't worry about that code because it does change every time you sign into a new device. Now you can see it found my tech login here on my demo account. I can go and press got it. And this is where it will register your television set to that email account. Now this is a cool feature about the Samsung television set is that with the cloud and it's signed in, it can back up some of the different data on your television set so you don't have to reconfigure it. So if you buy a new Samsung television, you can hit restore, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. And with the restore feature, you can put the TV set back like it was whenever you had your previous model to some extent. And you see right here, before I did a backup on this TV set, this is all the other TV sets are on my cloud. I'm gonna leave it at that and check that box. So we go ahead and register everything. Now, if I wanna restore from this particular backup, I can, but I'm gonna uh, show you guys how to get through these steps by pressing skip at the top. The first thing you need to do is enter your zip code and I'll just make one up here in San Diego. Now, since it found my television for over the air, you can see that it found 14 digital channels and this TV set does have Samsung Plus TV, which is kind of like a streaming type of TV service. So I can go ahead and press next. Then you want to tell the TV set where you're located. In this case, I'm in the Pacific. And do you use daylight savings time, except for Arizona, pretty much everybody uses daylight savings times. So I'll just set it to automatic. 
Now this is a quick summary. So you can see that it found over air antenna. You see that it has a PlayStation 5 connected. I'm connected to the wireless and I'm logged into my account. Once all that's done, you press got it. Now since this TV set does have voice command, you can see a demonstration of the remote control over there. You can set up Bixby and that works off your Samsung account. But if you have Amazon products in your home or Google products in your home, you can connect this TV set through those systems. However, each of those have to be signed in and configured to make that work. Now for demonstration purposes, we'll use Bixby. And you can also press later at the bottom if you wanted to. Next is going to give me an option to download the Prime Video application or Hulu. If you don't have those or plan on using them, you just can press skip. And this is some more options. I can download the PBS app. Crackle, which is a free movie service, AMC, and a fitness channel. And then I can press save. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do a factory reset. You just want to go into your settings and then you want to go down here to where it says general. Under general, you want to scroll down to where it says reset. Press on that, and then you can see the default pin is four zeros. Once you press that in, you move over to reset, and this process will take between one to five minutes. Once it gets done, we'll be back at the main screen. And then I can show you guys how to use your SmartThings application on a cell phone to set it up. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a Samsung television set using a smartphone and the SmartThings application. So all you need to do on the screen is just go ahead and choose smartphone. Now, if you don't have the smart things application, you'll be greeted by this QR code. So let's go ahead and scan for that and open up the application. So here we are on the smart things application. I can go and press start. And you'll be asked to enter a PIN number that's on the screen. Once you press that, go and press done. And now it's connecting to the smart things. Now from your screen, you'll need to enter the Wi-Fi password that's connected to your phone so it can share the information with your television set. Once you enter that, go and press next at the bottom. And now send in the Wi-Fi signal over to the television set. Next, you'll have some terms and conditions. You need to agree upon all of them and make sure you read through those and keep in mind, if you skip it, it's going to ask for it later on if you need to download applications. So I advise just going to agree all, but that's up to you. Then press OK. Now it's registering the television set with the Samsung account that you have on file. Now one thing that popped up on my screen is that I have Samsung linked in with Amazon. It did pop up as well, so you can control it with your Alexa device. But once everything is connected, you'll get this successful message. And then you can press next at the bottom. And now it's configuring the television set to work with your smart things. This TV set does have voice commands. Now I'm going to use Bixby because it's tied into my Samsung account. But if you want to use Google or Alexa, you'll need to set those up separately. Or you can choose later if you're not planning on using voice command at all. For this part, you can back up your different television settings into a cloud. Completely up to you. But the benefit of this, if you have a television and you set everything up and then you get a new TV set, you can use this backup file to restore your new television set so you want to enter everything again. So I'll go and back it up and then press next. Now you also can use this application as a remote control to do basic functionality. And in addition to that, it found those two devices that I had connected before. So you have HDMI 4 that had the PS5 on it and I have the over antenna. Then I can press next. Now, like I was telling you guys before, you can restore from an old backup, but for this video, we're not going to do that. Now, if you look at the blue line here, these are the other TV sets that I've showed on my channel, and I can use the backups from any of those TV sets. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Next, you want to enter a zip code. I'll just make one up. And keep in mind, when you use an over there antennas, that zip code is going to really determine the guide that you get on your TV set. So make sure you put the correct one in or something close to your house. Then go and press on next. Now at the bottom here, there's some application that it recommends. You can choose those just by touching on them. You see right there. And if you don't want them, just touch them again. And then press next. 
And this is where you can connect Spotify to your television set if you want to. So you can do the music player. I'm going to skip that. So it did use the antenna I have connected to the TV set to scan. I can go and press next. Now you want to choose your time zone. I'm in the Pacific. I can press next. And I'm going to set it for automatic. And that's pretty much done. The television set is all set up and ready to go. And I can now press start watching TV at the bottom. Now if you look up in the corner of the TV set, it's asking me to give control to my iPhone. I can allow it or deny it. Let's go ahead and allow it. And then if you look back on the application, I can do some features on the television set. For example, I can click on remote control. And this is where I can control like your home. Now, if you look on the application, there's a few things you can do. You can turn the TV set off and on. You can go to your home. You can even control the multi-view or do voice commands. Now, the reason it says set up now is because you need to give it some additional uh, permissions. And that's how easy it is to get that up and running. Now, let's try the voice commands again. Just press the little microphone on the smart app. Open up settings. So, it works there. Now, if you go down, you have your guide and you have a pad right here that you can use and options as well. Now, if you go back here, you have a few things. You can choose your sources and applications. You also can do the ambient mode. So if you go here, hit next, start now, you can view certain things on your television set from your smartphone. As you can see right there, as you can see, you can control all the ambient mode right here from the phone. I have universal guides at the bottom here so you can see what's on TV. If I want to choose on something, I can just press on it and it'll load up on the television set. If you hit the three lines in the corner, you can see you have more options right there. And that's pretty much what you can do with the smart things and application. So that gives you a basic understanding how to set up one of these Samsung television sets. And if you have questions, be sure to ask in the comments below. I'm Tech Steve. Make sure you go and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.